If you take a walk around where you live, it seems everyone around you is getting solar. Why is that? What do they know that you don't? Spend a few minutes with me and I'll give you the lowdown. Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to my channel, Gary Does Solar. What is going on with solar panels suddenly appearing on all the houses around you? I live in a small village not far from Oxford in the UK and almost every week I see a new installation going in. What's driving all this? Well, the most popular reason is to save money. Energy prices in many parts of the world have increased dramatically over the last few years and having solar panels on your property is a great way to reduce those costs. Consider how this example household uses electricity across a 24 hour period. In the morning, appliances such as kettles, toasters and hair dryers might be in use. Then in the evening, other appliances such as ovens, hobs and dishwashers might be in use. And throughout the night, electricity is still being used through appliances like fridges, freezers, home alarms and internet routers. But if that home is fitted with solar panels, when the sun comes up, electricity is being generated by those panels all the way through to the early evening. And that level of generation is more than enough to cover all the usage from 6am until 5pm, and also partially cover usage until 6pm. So that means over half of the day's electricity usage is taken care of using free energy from the sun. And even better than that, because there is more solar generation than is required by the home, that large yellow area on the chart, other appliances can be used during that time for zero cost. For example, clothes, washing and drying machines, the dishwasher or even an air conditioning unit. Even then there will still likely be excess solar generation and some people like to use that to heat their water instead of using gas or oil. And as the world transitions from cars with internal combustion engines to electric vehicles, it makes sense to charge your EV with excess solar generation. And given the price of fuel for non-electric cars, this is a massive benefit. And if solar energy can't be used in the home for any reason, it can actually be sold back to your energy company. More on this in a moment. You'll find that many people with solar panels also install a home battery at the same time. The battery is able to store the excess solar generation for use later in the day and overnight. And in this way, all of the daily usage is satisfied with no bill to pay to the energy supplier. Of course, not every day is sunny. And in winter, solar generation will be a lot less than in summer. But this is where a new kind of energy tariff comes in, called a smart tariff. Those without solar panels likely pay a flat rate for their electricity. In other words, the same price per kilowatt hour of energy, no matter when in the day it is consumed. But with smart tariffs, the amount you pay for electricity throughout the day varies every 30 minutes. And this opens up all sorts of opportunities, including the potential to buy electricity overnight when it is cheap. Here you can see a tariff with a standard rate for most of the day, but in the early morning that rate drops for a few hours. This is great for those with solar panels for a couple of reasons. One, you can charge your home battery during that cheap rate period, ensuring that you're still saving money on days with not much sun. And some people choose to buy a larger battery that has enough capacity to be charged from cheap import and also solar. And two, you can also set your EV to charge during those hours, again saving you a fair bit of money on both non-sunny and sunny days. As well as import, smart tariffs also allow export rates to vary. And this not only allows those with solar to save money as we saw earlier, it also gives rise to a money-making opportunity. This particular export tariff has a standard rate for most of the day, then a peak period with a higher rate for export. Those with solar and battery can store excess solar generation in the battery and set it to export that energy during this peak period, deriving a lucrative revenue. So lucrative in fact that some people instead of paying money at the end of every month are actually earning a hundred or more pounds every month during the summer. This all sounds great but if customers are saving so much money or even making money from their energy supplier, why on earth are they offering these kinds of smart tariffs? What's in it for them? To answer that, here's a typical electricity demand curve for a country. As you might expect, energy consumption is far lower during the night than it is in the day. And crucially, there is a peak in demand in the early evening. And typically to meet that peak in demand, the dirtiest and most expensive fossil fuels are burned, for example, gas and coal. Now, if some of that demand in the evening can be moved to the early morning, this essentially flattens the overall curve, and that's a good thing. And it's something that national energy operators are willing to financially reward both suppliers and consumers for. 
Hundreds of thousands of people charging their EVs and home batteries in the early morning will noticeably increase demand then. And that same number of people forced discharging their batteries in the early evening, essentially supplying electricity to their neighbours, translates to less fossil fuels being burned. Everybody wins. And that's all because smart tariffs like the ones I've described are encouraging the necessary changes in behaviour on a national scale. And all of this reveals another important reason why people are getting solar panels on their house. They want to do their bit for the environment. This chart shows the mix of energy sources used for electricity generation across the world since the year 2000. You can see that wind and solar is 12% of that energy mix today and it's expected to rise to a third of global supply by the time we get to 2030. And this ever increasing share of wind and solar is progressively eroding our reliance on fossil fuels. And here's the thing, anyone who puts solar panels onto their house becomes a small but incredibly important part in the future of energy. For those interested to find out more about home solar, you'll quickly find out it's a bit of a minefield out there. Trying to understand the technology, figuring out what the best solution is for your situation, determining who to approach about getting a solar and battery installation, and how to approach them, and of course calculating how much it'll all cost, and when you might get a payback on all that. The good news is that I've got all this covered in a series of videos I've made over the last year, and the best place to start is right here. It's my most popular video which has been watched by hundreds of thousands of people across the world. I've put a link to that video in the description and I hope it helps you on your solar journey. Thank you for watching.